Hello and welcome to the MBS plugin presentation for Engage U. Extend the capabilities of FileMaker with MBS plugin. MonkeyPred Software has been making the MBS FileMaker plugin since 2006, and that makes it now 17 years of development. Over the time, we collected over 7,000 functions and we are constantly adding new ones and improving the existing ones. We have over 600 example databases, so if you have a week of vacation and you don't know what to do, you can just check out all the examples. MBS plugin is delivered as one file, which makes uh, installation really easy, and only the used parts are actually in memory and active. So you have to enable the features you need. You can install the plugin automatically with a script if you want. There's an install plugin file, script step in FileMaker, and we have an example file on how to install it. And since the plugin is only one file, it's really easy to move it into extension folder manually. We support various versions of FileMaker. The current version supports uh, FileMaker 22. And of course, we also support older versions. On Windows, it goes down to version 7, and on Mac, it goes down to version 8.5. And you may need older plugins for MacOS uh, because the current release uh, requires MacOS 10.13. And on Windows, we have a special version for Windows 7 if you need that one. So you can use our plugin with. Uh, all FileMaker versions you may find. The MBS FileMaker plugin can be used in FileMaker Pro as well as Claris Pro on the client side on Mac and Windows. You can use the plugin on the server for both FileMaker server and Claris server. You can use it with Perform Script on Server, Triggered Scripts, with Scheduled Scripts, with WebDirect and Data API on MacOS, Windows, or Linux. The FileMaker Cloud from Class themselves doesn't support plugins, so you can't use them there, but you can find plenty of other companies to host your FileMaker server and install a plugin. We can use a plugin for on iOS. If you use a FileMaker iOS SDK to make your own branded version of FileMaker Go, it's your own name and icon, and then you can embed the plugin. If you use FileMaker Go, you can only use Perform Script on Server to trigger scripts on the server and use the plugin there. For example, to make a barcode uh, on the server and then show it on FileMaker Go. The MBS plugin doesn't add 7,000 functions directly to FileMaker because that would make it very slow. So we define one central MBS function and one MBS script step. The first parameter is the function name, and this one can come from a calculation or from a field if needed. Please watch out for errors and use our MBS is error function to check the error state for the current thread. You can also look for MBS prefixes on error messages returned by the plugin. A lot of things use reference parameters for objects. So you may have a function like JSON parse, which gives you back a JSON object reference number, and then you pass that number to the format function and later to the release function. This way you can have one object referred by a number and use this object in many function calls. So let's update you on what changed recently this year. And we got about 300 new functions added and a lot of functions extended. And the first big new topic is JSON. We have new functions for JSON query, search, and replace, which can be very handy if you work with JSON data. JSON query takes a JSON parse expression to find something in your JSON block, like here this expression looks for a node, and in an array finds uh, the book with the matching price, and then picks the author as a result. So you can run queries against the bigger JSON block to find something. 
also JSON search with JMS pass can be very useful to do similar searches and return your result, but it allows you to also pipe things and use sorting commands and other selectors to reformat your JSON output. And once you've got um, the query to run, you can also use the replace function to find an entry and then overwrite the field you found with a new value. Also, if you process a lot of uh, JSON arrays, you may find it very useful to split them into a list, work on this list, and later join them back to a big JSON block. As you may know, Gary Studio uses MongoDB behind, and so can you if you have some MongoDB server to store extra database data. And with our plugin, you can connect to an existing MongoDB server. You can run queries to get data. In this case, those are collections, which mean tables, and documents, which means records. You can do insert or update, and even combine this for an upsert to make a new record or update an existing with the same primary key. You can use transactions, if you like, with our plugin to create several records in different collections and uh, write them all together or fail with an error if there's something wrong. Then you get a watch feature where you can watch for changes and write an audit log. You can also use aggregate functions like filter, sort, and group in your queries. And we have a plenty of TLS options for encryption for the connection. And we got time functions to help you convert FileMaker times to and back to MongoDB. If your clients have MongoDB servers and you need to push data from MongoDB to FileMaker or from FileMaker to MongoDB, our plugin should be an excellent option to do that. Then we got a preview feature to show PDF contents in FileMaker Pro in the user interface without relying on um, interactive containers. So we got an independent control from FileMaker from Windows and Mac, which also supports additional file types on MacOS to, for example, show a Word file. And since this control is independent from FileMaker, it can, of course, stay on the layout even if you switch records. Then we have plenty of PDF functions. There's Dyna PDF, our cross-platform solution to render, edit, merge, create, split, sign, optimize PDFs or extract images and text. We have Win PDF for Windows 10, which can query page sizes and render pages, as well as PDF kit functions for Mac and iOS, which also can do merge and split and extract text. And so you can decide whether you use the platform specific ones or the cross-platform Dyna PDF. For Dyna PDF, we got quite a few new functions. This includes creating tag PDF with the PDF UA standard, which makes them accessible for everyone. Then PDF A for support is added to the plugin in addition to version one, two, and three. You can create color space based on ICC POM files. You can use our test clips function to check if a certain text can be written with the current font without an error message. Then you can save and sign a PDF providing your own signature. If you, for example, get the signature from a web service. You can add JavaScript actions to your PDF to have, for example, a button do something in Acrobat Reader. Please use the Dyna PDF add JavaScript function for this, and then connect the action to a button or something else, like an event. You can also create custom annotations appearances with our new create edit API function. We got plenty of OCR functions, like if you got a picture from our various scanning functions from a flatbed scanner, you may want to run them through OCR. For this, we can use 
OCR with cross-platform library Tesseract, which supports over 100 languages. You can also use the Windows OCR functions from Microsoft using system libraries and the language installed for the user. And you can use the Vision Framework for Mac and iOS and benefit from using machine learning to recognize text. And the Vision Recognize Text function is conveniently uh, improved to use Vision on Mac and iOS and fall back to Windows OCR on Windows. So you have one central function to get text from a picture. Then we have curl functions. Curl is a universal library we use for all the HTTP, FTP, SFTP, email and other functionality. We now have functions to work with Microsoft Office 365 authentication using OAuth 2 and you can use our setup OAuth function for that. We also got WebSocket functions and if you would like to debug the plugin, you can query all the options set using our curl.options function and get a JSON back with all the options set. And also you can check our curl get debug messages function and get header functions to query the debug messages for your current transfer as well as the headers for HTTP. Then we got support for webhooks. Like you may want to create a webhook in FileMaker Pro or with an iOS app, or even on a server. So you get a script triggered for incoming requests. You can trigger the request, of course, with our curl functions, with insert from URL, even from FileMaker Go, or through other tools like command line curl. This can be locally within the computer. It can be over the local network. It can go via VPN through the internet or directly in the internet, but I don't recommend putting FileMaker directly to the internet. Uh, please use a VPN. You can use HTTP or RAW mode, and RAW mode is very useful if you have a special device, like a scale, which sends you a data package whenever something is put on the scale. Optionally, you can enable SSL or TLS. Then we have archive functions. We support various formats like zip, raw, pax, and others. You can decide the compression level, what kind of encryption you like, and we support Unicode file names. You can, for example, compress directly a container value or use archive compress to compress a list of files. We got dynamical building of archives using the create function, and then you can loop through your data call add text, add container, or add file, depending on what you like to add to the archive. And finally, when you close the archive, you get back the archive, or you directly stream this to disk. Then we have archive extract, or extract file, to extract either all files of an archive into a temporary folder, or to extract one file and give it back to you as a container value. Then we got enhancements for iOS. So if you run your own iOS app on uh, your iOS device, you may from time to time want to show your progress on doing something. So you can, in a script, use our progress dialog to show how things are going. Then we got the photo picker functions for iOS and macOS. So you can pick pictures from the user's photo library with asking the user through this dialog, but without additional um, privacy warnings. So the user can select some pictures and you only get the picture selected. Then we got additional script triggers, like if your app goes to the background or, or comes back to the foreground, or the orientation did change, so you can directly react to these events. We also got a swipe gesture recognizer, so you can have special actions happening in your app if the user swipes up, down, left, right, and for example, switch a layout. We also support fidgets, so you can connect to them from your computer. They provide several sensors, motors, uh, measurement devices, scanners, and you can connect them directly to the computer, read the values in FileMaker, get script triggers, and something happens. And a lot of projects get possible using the sensors 
For example, you can build your own weather station, if you like. Or you can automate something in FileMaker, so if someone turns on the light, or puts an RFID card on the scanner, or touches something, or moves the slider, your FileMaker app can react. So if you distribute a solution using MBS plugin, you may be interested in bootstrapping it. And for this, you can load a JSON file, which currently is uh, on this URL. And once you loaded it, you can parse it. You can find um, the URL for the file you need, and then download this file. For example, here, the Windows plugin. Load it with insert from URL. Within FileMaker, then use the install plugin file script step and install it. And this can greatly help you to automate the installation of the MBS plugin. The JSON file currently looks like this, but there may be a new format coming uh, with more keys for more vendors. So we'll see how this goes, but the current file looks like this. So you have the Mac, the Linux, the Windows, and even the iOS versions. So you can automatically download the current plugin version and install it. Then this year we got uh, quite a few important upgrades. So it's very important to stay up to date with the plugin because we update libraries that are included with the plugin. For example, OpenSSL3 is now added to MBS plugin. It provides new supers, so you can have more secure transfers by using newer, more secure servers and no longer using older, less secure ones. Also, libraries like curl get, get frequently audited for security problems and there are important bug fixes about possible crashes uh, you could have in FileMaker or someone could hack uh, curl or OpenSSL. So you want to stay ahead and use the latest versions. Also, we upgraded SSH library so it get newer encryption standards, which make sure we can connect to the current servers. Especially if you try to connect with older plugin versions, you may get an error about SSH not working because of the plugin doesn't understand what the server is saying because it uses a newer protocol version. For the list dialogs, we got checkboxes. So your users can get a big list of items, can filter them for various entries, and then pick um, pick something. And even if they change the filter and see different parts of the list, all the checkboxes stay. And then when they are done, um, you can ask which items are checked. And there's even more. Like the WebKit JavaScript engine functions uh, can now be used on Windows, Linux, MacOS, and iOS. So you can load a uh, WebKit DRL and then use it on Windows and Linux if you need modern JavaScript. Then we added WebP support for graphics match. So you can load and write WebP image files. You can also use our Web Download Delegate on FileMaker Pro on Mac to monitor downloads for the web viewer. If you have users using iCloud, Dropbox, or similar services, you can ask the status for a file and ask the system to download a file or evict it if you need space. Then our Excel functions got uh, enhanced to work with form controls. So you can now query all the form controls and change properties. Then we have a few goodies for macros, like we can intend text with command and square brackets, left and right for calculations. We can sort by ID or by name. On the right side, you see sort by name, a scanning, descanning, and sort by ID, a scanning, descanning, and you get the various menu entries by holding down shift or option key. Then uh, you can use code folding in FileMaker with our plugin. So you can just hide a part of the script if needed.
And in the debugger, we can show you in a tooltip the values for a variable or field. And using the context menu, you can copy the value if you need. We have auto completion for variable names. And the variable names can be defined either with a comment or with set variable, and also with uh, insert commands. So the plugin can find a lot of variable names and then show them to you in our pop down menu. Then you can use URLs in your comments. So you can put a link for your documentation, for a wiki page, or whatever, into your script. And then you get this little uh, arrow there with a first picture <laughs> to open the browser and go to the URL. This also works for FMP URLs to open another database, or with mail to links to open email. And in the latest version, we also added go to URLs to go to the end or go to the beginning of the script, or go to a specific line number. And then we have script URLs, which can jump you to a different script. Our search field can optionally take regular expressions, so you can find things in your scripts um, with a regular expression. Like here, search for everything, starting with an, a dollar, with an A, and ending with an E. Then uh, we also got our variable check improved. So you can now define a variable uh, with a let statement and inform the plugin about that with a little comment in front of your let statement. For Windows, we got a few little things, like we have a search field for relationships on Windows, as well as for Mac. And you can use Control F to find and control G to find the next one. Then I would like to highlight the trace feature, which allows you to lock all plugin calls to a lock file or to a live view. For example, on Mac, you can use console app to see all your calls in FileMaker Pro. You can use Xcode to see all your calls in an iOS app, right in the debugger pane. And on Linux, you can watch the log file from the plugin to see all the calls if you enable trace. And on Windows, you would use the debug view application for this, so you can see which functions are called live. If you need a license, we have a free tier. You can try the plugin, enjoy the goodies. There are about 2,000 free functions which don't need a paid license. Then you can, of course, apply for dry license. So you can try the full versions for, well, a few weeks. And then we have paid licenses, which give you the full version so you can use all the 7,000 functions. And if you need a license now, we have a conference offer for 20% is using the coupon code FileMaker Conference. And now it's time for questions and answer. Since this is a video, please email us if you have a question to support at monkeypadsoftware.com. Thank you.